The power of uniting in prayer. There is unusual power in united prayer. God has planned for His people to join together in prayer, not only for Christian fellowship, spiritual nurture, and growth, but also for accomplishing His divine purpose and reaching His chosen goals. In unity, there is strength, a principle that is true in all of life, in the family, in the nation, and among the people of God. The principle of Ecclesiastes 4.12 applies in spiritual life and prayer warfare. Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Jesus is specially present where two or three are gathered in his name, specifically for united prayer, for agreement in prayer. He said, Truly I tell you, that if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. Matthew 18, 19 For where two or three gather in my name, there am I with them. Matthew 18, 20 When two or more people prevail together in faith, praying in the Spirit, their power not only is added together, it seems multiplied. The more you hear others joining in prayer for the same needs, the stronger your faith tends to become. You become encouraged by the way God is giving faith to them. Heart warms heart. Prayer kindles prayer. Faith strengthens faith. There is tremendous blessing in being a prayer partner with one or several others. Each prayer partner can agree to uphold the other, especially in prayer. We should remember that Christ is always our prayer partner. We are never alone. The New Testament teaches the importance of the Christian church and community. When we are born of the Spirit, we are born into a family. God purposed his interrelationship for our spiritual good. We need each other. We specially need each other in prevailing prayer and prayer warfare.